What is up, you guys? Mental Hog back here for episode two of our Chelsea career mode. You guys voted, and this is the series that you want to stick around. So this is the series that is sticking around. And in this episode, we're going to continue our quest for some sort of European football going into season two here with Chelsea when we'll finally be able to really make transfers. If you guys are excited for yet another episode of the series, show your support down below, drop a like, subscribe if you're new around here so you don't miss out on the rest of this Chelsea series. And let's get into it. We're starting off with a big game against Newcastle. Currently, we find ourselves eighth in the Premier League table with, uh, you know, a random amount of games played. It's the part of the season where teams have like random amounts of games played here. So we are in eighth. And we are about 10 points outside of Champions League and about 6 points outside of Europa League. And that's what we want. So we're going to try to get these 3 points against Newcastle at home to send us through into the rest of the Premier League season in good spirits. Nico Jackson, the man in form in this series so far. 3 goals in his last 3 games in the Prem, so that is great. And we have got what I find to be our strongest starting eleven, at least overall wise. And we're rolling out at home here against Newcastle. We need the 3 points here because we are... Gonna start slipping down the table if we're not careful. Here in Trippier, out on the wide area here. He is definitely their danger man in this Newcastle side. Gonna have to watch out for him. Alexander Isak just got to dance on through my defense there. I don't know what that was. I don't like the positioning of my keeper in that corner. Why? What is going on with the defense right now? Jill Wells gonna nod that down. Try and get that away. Okay. Nico Jackson and Nkunku have the ball kind of in a nice area here. Raheem Sterling looks through on goal. We're gonna try to play him in. Raheem Sterling. To kind of catch up with Fabian Scher here. And Kunku. I've got Chilwell out wide. I'm going to play a cross here. Back post, we've got Cole Palmer. He's got a bit of height on him, but instead of heading the ball, he goes for a little volley attempt. James, yes, snuffs out that attack. Now we can look to go forward, but that was a bad pass. What was that? Almiron, he gets around Dezazi. I've got some slow defenders here. Oh my goodness, my goalkeeper has got butterfingers. But that's okay. Somehow it still falls for us. Sterling and Nkunku linking up off this left-hand side. Took a while for him to turn. That's because, oh, perfect opportunity to play through Sterling. Here he goes. Yes, past the defender. Inside, Nico Jackson. Good positioning. Shoots and scores. And oh my goodness, it is 1-0. That was a clean attack. And Nico Jackson on the end of it to finish it off too. He is doing really well for me in this series. Really well. And here I was thinking I needed to sign a world-class striker. I think we kind of have one. Look how he holds up his run. Gets free of the defenders and then just slots it home. He finishes well. That's also goal number 12 in the Premier League for him, so if we can get him close to 20 goals this season, I think that's a huge success. But this is what we got to watch out for. Newcastle's counterattacking ability with Almiron, Isak, and Anthony Gordon is just in in insane, so got to be careful. Cole Palmer, oh, wins the ball back for us. Support needed here. Maybe, oh yeah, no, 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 I needed support there. Didn't have it. Nico Jackson does not have a left foot like that. Sterling, yes, picks it off. Gets it to Nico Jackson. He's going to hold it up. Looking for Cole Palmer. He's got a free roll to come inside now. I changed some instructions around after the last episode. Try and make the best out of some of these Chelsea players. Sterling to Nkunku. Nico Jackson. Space from outside the box. That's a good strike and a decent save from Nick Pope as well. About to be halftime here. Ooh, Isak was looking to get through, but that was a no sir from Disasi. And we all saw how he played against Erling Holland last week in the Premier League. He is a great defender, apparently. Oh, we're picking it off up the, high up the pitch. It's halftime, and we have this 1-0 lead that looks good. Colwell. Oh, no. Colwell got too tight too soon. Almiron. Oh, my God. That was just absolutely disastrous from Colwell and from Robert Sanchez. That was just... That's a really bad goal to concede. That's not what you like to see at all. My two changes. Malo Gusto coming on at right back for the tired Reese James, and Connor Gallagher coming on at the central attacking midfielder, and Kunku just not doing a whole lot for me in the second half. There's one thing Malo Gusto has as well that Reese James does not. It's a lot of pace. There we go. We see it right away. Malo Gusto playing a nice pass for Nico Jackson. Oh, it's just wide on that left peg. He needs. Does he have five-star weak foot? If he doesn't, we need to get it for him. He actually does have five-star weak foot, so he just needs to be finishing those better. Sterling. Oh, he takes some sort of knock there, but he gets right back up. That's the kind of effort I like to see. Nico Jackson. Nico Jackson, finish it. Oh, my goodness. Big save, Nick Pope. Got an in-swing in corner here for Enzo. Play. We have tall strikers and people in the box. That was right at the keeper, but it was decent from Colwell. Enzo, looking for runners. Don't really have any. Oh, that was a great dribbling move there. Raheem Sterling, can he get inside? He's got a knock on him. I need to take him off, but uh, first he had that one chance. Okay, a couple more changes. Mudrick coming on on the left wing, and Chilwell's coming off for Kukurea because he is exhausted as well. Ten more minutes here, and it's still, I feel like, could go either way for either team. Oh, this is a great run from Cole Palmer. 
It's just, he's clean through. I mean, he's just absolutely got to put this in the back of the net. But not on your right foot. Why would you not keep it on your left? Are you kidding me? Cole Palmer, dude. Anthony Gordon using whatever he has left of his legs there, but it was not good enough. Oh my gosh. Newcastle are giving it to us big in the last few minutes of this game. They want to find a winner, and I'm scared that they might. It's a late corner here from Newcastle, and I'm starting to feel a little bit stressed out. I won't lie to you. Okay, well done. Get this out. Hunter Gallagher as far away as you can. At this point, Newcastle have had so much momentum that I'm happy to take a point here. If we can just get this ball away from them, please. Will the referee let us go up the pitch? No, he will not, and it's going to end in a one-all draw. We were good for our goal. We looked okay, but we could not get control of the game, and in the end... I guess it's a fair result for Newcastle to have stolen a goal, kind of, the way they did. Okay, well, we once again need to take a break from the Premier League because we have the quarterfinals of the FA Cup here where we were facing up against Aston Villa. This is a huge game for us. And again, these are two of the teams that could go on to win the whole thing at this point. So this could be massive for the just FA Cup in general this season. I would love to win this trophy. Spurs and Newcastle are through the next round, but Hull City knocked out Brighton. That's massive. I would love to be in the semifinals here. They're playing a good old 4-4-2, and they've got Evan Ferguson and Ollie Watkins up top. A midfielder with the last name of Vos, who I don't recognize. And other than that, the team looks pretty similar to how it would in real life. Slightly rotated for this one, but the one man who does not change is Nico Jackson. He's actually the top scorer in the FA Cup. So, of course, he's going to get the start. We also, literally, we don't even have another striker if we wanted to. So, it is what it is. We're at the bridge once again. Aston Villa's in town, and I'm trying to get to a semifinals here. Madrick breaks free from the defense here. Still looking for that winning formula with our team selection, so maybe Mudrick oh, could fight for a spot here, but over Sterling it's going to be difficult because Sterling has been one of the best players in the team. Oh yes, Kukurea, that was a huge challenge. And Nico Jackson, that was a huge pass. Can we get past this defender? Yes, we can. Mudrick is just clean through here. He has support in, oh, in Kunku, but of course he's going to make the stupid selfish decision try to score himself, and the ball stays in too. Yikes. Uh-oh, 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 uh-oh. Let's get this out, please. Why do neither of my goalkeepers have the ability to just hold on to the ball here? What is that dink attempt? Are we serious, Evan Ferguson? Can you just stick to, I don't know, maybe a normal finish? What was that? Could have been a goal for Aston Villa, but I'm not complaining about the fact that we are, uh, we're still in it here. Hello, Gusto's everywhere on the pitch right now. Wow, that was a great clearance. Started a nice attack here as well. Medweke gonna look to play through Nico Jackson. These defenders are fast, but... Oh, they can't keep up with him. Can he finish, though? Cross the face of goal, and it's Nico Jackson. For some reason, I just always feel confident to shoot and potentially score with this guy, even though in real life, he misses every sitter known to man. But that was some great link-up play. From one end of the field, all the way up the other, very fast here. Loved that goal. And Madweke on the left wing, making a case to displace Cole Palmer at left wing as well, because I haven't seen much from Cole Palmer at all, to be honest. But Madweke... He feels good. He feels positive going forward. Very much so. Well, anyways, halftime. And this is the story of our season. We literally just cannot get a grip on any game. And that's what I'm trying to do in the second half. Just need to pass this ball around and keep it away from Aston Villa. Because the fact that they were getting chances is based on the fact that I cannot hold on to the ball. <laughs> if we don't give them the ball, they can't score. That was a terrible pass. See what I mean? I'm trying to get a grip over the game here a little bit. But the passing out of the back is uh, it's subpar. From my center backs. Which this doesn't make sense when it's Wes Fofana that's passing. He's known for how good he is at exactly that. Well, really, he's known for having knees that are made out of sandpaper, but cross played in once again, edge of the box. That is a chance that we do not want to see happen again, please. All right, substitution here. We're going to bring it off in Kunku, bring on Lavia at that defensive mid roll, move up um, Caicedo and Enzo, and Colwell's coming on at left back, as well as Cole Palmer on the left. We just want to shore it up defensively a bit here, and like I said, just kind of pass the ball around some more. Oh my god, Enzo. This is just a steal of a ball here. This should be a goal. Enzo, score this, please. It's 2-0. Okay, well, you know what? If they're going to make mistakes like that, we're going to capitalize on it. And now we're 2-0 up, and it doesn't even matter that we didn't have control of the game. Cross played in, last second here. Nah, cleared out. Balls for Lavia, and that's full time. We take those. It's a 2-0 win against Aston Villa. Not as comfortable as it seemed with the scoreline here, but we're going to take it. We're through to the semifinals of the FA Cup. And the only other big team left in this competition is, I guess, Newcastle, but Spurs too. And that neither of those are as huge as you would expect normally. Speaking of huge games, we've got a huge one right now up against Tottenham. We might be facing off against them in the FA Cup. I'm not sure. But right now I know that we are two points behind them. So if we beat them, we're going to jump them in the table and go to seventh, which would put us in a position 
to be playing at least conference league football if we were to end the season there. Obviously, our ambitions are higher than that. We want at least Europa League. I think we're still 10 points away here from Champions League. We could make it happen with 11 games to play. But this Tottenham team is no joke. They have signed themselves Ibrahima Kanate. They've got James Madison's son. Timo Werner is making it as their starting striker. They have got quite the team here, though, for real. This is not going to be easy. Okay, I may have messed up here. I think I accidentally just put us in um, as watching as the manager. Let me jump in at least. I didn't get to make the changes to the team that I wanted, but... Okay, because I didn't really want to make that many changes. All three games we've played so far at Stamford Bridge, too. Just noticed that. Sudogi to come down this wing inside for Sun, and we're just we're just not tracking him at all. We're not even trying to get the ball off of him. Sterling, wait, their defense is like all over the place. Is he on side? Oh no, he's just off. He has got to be off by like an inch. How how offside is he? I mean, so close, so close. Oh, Nico Jackson, that's a heavy touch from their defense. And now Nkunku's got space. He gets through. He wriggles by. Oh, Nkunku, that was such a great run. And it's a great goal. Tottenham's mistake is our treasured goal there for Nkunku. That was just incredible from him. Basically a solo effort with that dribble that he just did. That was nuts. Well, that is exactly what you want. A very nice goal from Nkunku. I believe Nico Jackson created the assist there as well, but he did really didn't do that whole much. James trying to deal with Madison and Son at the same time. That is a tough task. But he's doing well. Enzo stepping in. Ooh, got to be careful putting in a challenge like that. But we're, we're glad it worked out, of course. Nico Jackson. He's got the ball out wide here. But what are we going to do with this? What exactly am I supposed to do in this situation besides play it to Sterling, that is? Ooh, Sterling. Sterling's got twinkle toes on him as well, but doesn't use him as well as Nkunku did earlier. Enzo picks that out. Once again, mistakes from the back or from the uh, buildup of these teams. Chilwell got the ball in a nice opportunity here. Maybe we could look for a cutback goal. Uh, that was not the kind of cutback I wanted. Whoa, their keeper was slow there, Vicario. That could have cost you another goal if you were not careful. He's lucky. Go Jackson inside here for Enzo. Gets free. Oh, big save from Guglielmo Vicario. I just love saying his name. It's Chilwell to Nkunku. Nkunku back to Chilwell. Sterling, free, takes the shot. Keeper, great run out for him. Cole Palmer. Nico Jackson, maybe he can look for a cutback here. That's lucky. Oh my god, that bounce could not have been luckier, but we just haven't been able to score a second goal, and I think we're, we might come to regret that in the second half here, but we will take that lead going into the halftime whistle. Okay, we looked really good in that first half, but yeah, we didn't just we just didn't score the second goal, so I'm in two minds. Do I just play for the 1-0? Do I go for a second goal? I don't know. I don't know. We're going to find out. You and me both. Uh-oh, 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 uh-oh. Sonny just pressured me onto the ball. That's really not good. Really not good. And it's Son to score. Are you kidding me, man? That was disgusting for me. And Dizazi lost the ball. Son just goes himself, by the way. He doesn't even go for the pass that I was looking for. I should have slid there. I was thinking about it. Toe poke finish. And it's one all. Oh my gosh. We're back to square one with this team again. What is happening here, Chelsea? You try to play the possession game and it just it costs you. Every time for me. A Pedro Poro. Looking to go inside here. Oh, he just got taken out. That's disgusting. It's going to be a card for sure. Yellow or red, I am not. I couldn't tell you, but that's going to be a card for Dezazi, definitely. It's a yellow card. Okay, fair enough. I can't believe this. It looks like it might be 2-1 Spurs now. Petrovic has a chance to uh, defend against Sun's penalty here. He's going to go this way. Oh, Petrovic! That is a huge penalty save. Yeah, you absolutely should be celebrating that. You mad lad. Holy moly. I can't believe he saved that with his outstretched left arm as well. Oh my gosh. With five minutes left. We need a potential game-changing player here. Medweke has been good, so we're going to bring him on. There we go. There we go, Medweke, right away. Medweke, looking for a finish here. Can't find it. Cannot find it. Oh, Raheem Sterling. Raheem Sterling. Oh my god, he got mowed over there by Kanate. Otherwise, it looked good. And it's stoppage time. Looks like Spurs are just happy to take a draw here, but not me. Not me. I'm going for it. Is that a foul on our advantage? We'll take it, we'll take it, we'll take it. We have a chance to build one more attack here, maybe. Just one. Can't make any mistakes, though. And we can't drag the ball back. To Sasi, to Sterling, to Enzo, Nico Jackson, Nkunku. This is our chance. Nkunku! Oh my god, it's a match winner from Nkunku. It's limbs at Chelsea Stamford Bridge. What a goal we just created and scored there. You've got to be kidding me. It's Nkunku with a brace now. That is so huge. That's the last kick of the game, too. Oh, my gosh. What a famous 2-1 win that's going to turn out to be. If we make any sort of Europe, 
that is the moment of the season that has decided that fate for us. That is incredible from Nkunku, Nico Jackson, and the rest of the lads too, despite the poor defending for the one goal we've conceded. Cheeky little sim here, we get a 3-0 win at home against Burnley, who only have 12 points on the board, so that was an easy win for us. Enzo with a brace, Nico Jackson scores. Take those, we got a big game coming though. And that huge game that we have coming is against Manchester United. We just keep getting opportunities to face off against these teams that we're trying to beat up the top of the table here, so they are five points ahead of us right now, but if we were to beat them, that gap would be reduced to just two points. And uh, it, it's possible that they will drop more by the end of the season. And really, we're five points behind United and Newcastle and Liverpool. We're close to West Ham as well, so we really are in a position where we could be fighting for the Champions League spots come end of season here. And we want that, so let's do that. So by beating Manchester United. Unfortunately for this game, neither one of my right wingers are fit. Palmer and Mudweke are like equally tired, so I guess I didn't really manage the team's stamina too well. So Cole Palmer's going to start. I was going to start Mudweke, but Palmer's going to start. And it's going to be our, our same team with Sanchez back in goal. That's what I went to change earlier, but here we are. And it, it's, it definitely helps us that all of the games we've been playing, these huge ones, have been at home at Stamford Bridge. We've looked good at home, and I hope we can continue that form in this massive game. Here we go. We've still got this bug with Darwin Nunez scoring in the 84th minute stuck on my screen. Don't know what that's about. Chill well. Space to come in here. Oh, that could have been a penalty. Just go down if that happens. Look for something good and don't quite get it. And now Hoylund once again. Why is he the one in crossing positions? Wow, Robert Sanchez finally figured out how to use those hands to catch a ball. That's great. Oh, Sterling. Fooled that defender by just literally going a straight line. And now Sterling looks to be through on goal. Oh my goodness. Against England teammate Harry Maguire. He gets it away and Onana makes a good save actually. I think that ball roll actually hurt us more than helped us, and that's my fault. I was looking for some more space, didn't quite find it. Nico Jackson can't get up there. Cole Palmer, he's left-footed. I'm having a pop here. Oh, but it actually got through everybody. And once it gets through everybody, you have no idea where that goal, where that ball will go. Rashford's taking it down the left-hand side here. I see Bruno in the middle. I see Hoyland running into the box. Still see Bruno and Hoyland, and I actually played right into their hands there. Amrabat, Enzo, that was an amazing challenge that I didn't even make him put in. Caicedo tries to win that. It's unsuccessful, but he's there to pick it up again. He's just everywhere. Sterling to Nkunku, the man in form here from the last couple of games. Here we go, Nkunku's got to run. Through on goal here. We need to finish this. We need to put power on this. Oh, Nana's playing well. Enzo can't quite clear the first man. Oh, not a good, not a good corner delivery. Gets another chance here, though, Enzo. Gets another chance here. <laughs> that was even worse. That was even worse somehow. Chilwell. Chilwell. He's got an option here, but the option is Sterling, so I, it almost isn't even an option. And Kunku! Oh my god! Oh my goodness! This man is excellent at receiving the ball on a turn, spinning past a defender. Are you kidding me? And Kunku is the best player in the team right now. It's just hands down, it's him. I mean, just look at this turn. And Kunku is the guy that knows Victoria's Secret. He, he is. Eight goals in 29 for Nkunku now, and doesn't say enough about how amazing he is. The goal was so good, it even removed the, the Darwin Nunez scoring bug, and it was right before halftime, so United didn't even have a chance to respond. So we're up by 1-0 once again at halftime. Well, we've been in this position before, and uh, second half, we tend to concede this some, so let's not. Second half, I'm always looking for control in these second halves for some reason, and they always step up their press, so I'm going to do the opposite this time. I'm looking for goal number two, and I want it early. So they're going to press me hard. I need to get that ball up the field. I'm waiting for their press now. Cole Palmer. Cole Palmer. Looks inside. Nico Jackson. I've got Sterling in support. Sterling at the penalty spot. And that's wide. But that's more like it. That's how we want our second halves to go. Onana and Maguire passing out of the back. That is not something that I think they should be trying to do very often. Hello. Holding up the ball and giving it straight to Caicedo and Kunku. Now we want to go quickly here. They are out of Players are out of position. Nico Jackson. Get inside here. Curl it. What is that? So, oh my god. Are you kidding me? How did that work? How did we just score that? I, I'm actually confused about that goal because I don't, I just don't understand. We need to see that back. I have to see that back. And then it goes through his legs. Oh man, but Nico Jackson scores again. So I don't know why I'm complaining. We got the 2-0 lead, lead we were looking for, but <laughs> I didn't expect to get it that way. Did not expect it to go that way. Have lead east. Oh, we go sliding in. I don't think so, sir. And Kunku. Up to Cole Palmer here. Cole Palmer has no energy left whatsoever. Need to get him off the pitch. Except, really quick, Sterling makes it 3-0. Let's go. Nico Jackson with another assist. Sterling, 
Back on the score sheet here for me at Chelsea. This game is signed, sealed, delivered, three points. And with that, Cole Palmer needs to get off. He's so tired. So does Reese James. He's played a good game, but it's time for him to come off now. Will they let us make these subs? Yes, they will. Perfect. We've got a few minutes left. Not worried about what happens from here to the end. Clean sheet would be great, though. Oh, and Kunku. And there's time to add insult to injury here as he comes inside. Curler, near post? Why near post? I don't know. Enzo, this looks decent, you know. This looks decent. Um, okay. Sassy. We can get him on the turn here. This is a center back. Yep, it definitely is a center back. <laughs> that was a finish, by the way. That was attempt. At, that was an attempt at goal. Garnacho's on. Don't you think it's a bit late to be bringing on somebody like an impact sub like Garnacho? He should probably been on the field 20 minutes ago. Anyways, that is going to surely be the end. Yes, it is. 3-0 win against United. We just quickly brush them off. Let me just... Ugh, what's that? Ugh, is that Man United? Get out of here. Okay, 3-0 win. We move. Not further up the table, but we're creating pressure on that top four race. Well, we continue mounting that pressure in the top four race here with a 2-0 sweeping aside of Sheffield United and Kunku and Kaiseido, the goal scorers in this one. Okay, so we need to check in on the situation here because we still find ourselves in seventh. What is the table even looking like? With 31 games played, we're two points behind United, two points behind Liverpool, three points behind West Ham. It looks like maybe Newcastle is going to be just slightly out of our reach. And then we don't really care about Arsenal City. That's kind of a wash. We've got a game against Everton here. I'm going to risk a simulation here just just to, just because I think I hate myself a little bit. And that's what we're going to do. Okay, and it's going to be a 2-1 win there as well. Looks like Colo picked up an injury, which kind of sucks. But Sterling and Cole Palmer give us that 2-1 win we're looking for. Oh, that's a nasty injury. Levi Colwell broke a rib in that Everton game. This season's done. He's going to be out for three whole months there. And you know what? On that unfortunate little tidbit of an injury to Wesley Fofana, we're going to leave episode two right there because we have got an FA Cup semifinal on 4 2024 <laughs> against Tottenham Hotspur. And I'm going to save that game to start off episode three. I think that's going to be a huge one. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode, though. If you did, Drop a like down below, subscribe to the channel if you're new because episode 3 is coming out very, very soon. We're going to try to finish out season 1 here in the next episode of the Chelsea Career Mode, guys. So I'm excited for that. I'll see you then. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day and peace.